guys, this is Edna with Scry Photography. Thank you for joining me today. I am going to teach you today how to take your posing from normal, bland, and boring to dynamic and gorgeous and unique. I know a lot of you guys may be here for the first time and I wanna give you a little introduction about who I am and what I've done. I am an extensively published photographer in the Orange County and Los Angeles area. I have been shooting professionally for over 30 years. I know, I know, I like guide. Nah, nah, nah. Lots of Botox. But I have been holding a camera in my hands for probably about 42 years. I'm not kidding. My dad was a hobbyist photographer. So I've been holding a camera for a long time. So come along with me and let me show you how I take bland and boring posing and how to make it dynamic and professional, how to take your posing to a whole new level. All right, guys, so what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to just think about pose one, pose two, pose three, pose four. I want you to think of the human body as fluid and expressive. So I want you to think that you are trying to exude something in your photograph. If you're trying to exude soft and sadness and then limbs are going to come in and you're going to squish your body in if you're trying to exude power then you may have your legs out and you or you may step forward if you're trying to exude femininity or or softness and you may bring the leg in so you can have some curviness bring your butt out and your boobs out and just exude some femininity that way but i want you to think about the body as fluid and expressive, not just what am I gonna do with this person standing in front of me, hands on hip, right? I mean, there's nothing wrong with hands on hip. I'm gonna tell you how to take a regular hands on hip pose and take it from ordinary to extraordinary. The first pose that normally people think of is hands on hip. So first of all, you don't just have to put your hands on your hips here or here. You can move them to many different directions. What you wanna do is you want to bring the leg over into the other leg. And when you do that, you're automatically gonna shift your body. So you're already dropping the shoulder down. When you automatically drop your knee down, your face is gonna to wanna to turn. So you're gonna hand on the hip, shift the leg over, drop the shoulder, and bring the hand down or the hand down a little bit lower chin up and now you've taken standard boring pose to pro pose so now when we're talking about a pose that's a side pose like this standard again you want to think about all the movements of the body the knees the feet the upper torso, the butt, the neck, the face, okay? Your hands, your elbows, your shoulders. So we're gonna go from this, boring and bland, to thinking about bringing the knee up. When you bring the knee up, your body just wants to shift forward. So you're gonna shift your body forward, bring the shoulders forward, bring the neck up. That's already a completely more dynamic pose. And instead of having your elbows pointing towards the camera, you're gonna bring them back and that's gonna be able to show your waist. You know, you don't never wanna hide that waist. So bring that, the shoulders back, chin up, and now you can bring your hand up and look back behind you. Bring your hand up, pull your hair back, bring your hand over to your face and even bring the shoulder more exaggeratedly forward or, or even better, look back at me like this, hand up looking back, seducing the camera, hand on neck, hand up above on the hair, sweeping the hair up. And remember that your hands, your wrists, you can pop the wrist up. You can, the expression on the face, is it sexy? Is it laughing? <laughs> is it seducing? So the expression, everything from your toes to your ankles, to your knees, all the way up, you want to exude what it is you're trying to say in your photograph. Now, if you want to do a regular power pose, then hand on hip, but no, instead of just hand on hip, you're going to, you're going to shift your weight over and hand can go on the lower part of your hip or the upper part of your hip. 
or up in the hairline. And again, now we're gonna lean the body. We're gonna bring the chest forward for power, hand up above, tilt the head, and we're going from regular pose to, and that's the difference between boring and dynamic. It's shifting the body, shifting your movements, using all parts of your body in order to exude a feeling and an emotion and what you're trying to say. Now, if you're trying to be demure, then you bring the body in, right? You're shifting everything into your body, bringing the knee over, holding the elbow, bringing your hand on top of your shoulder. Everything all of a sudden becomes soft and demure. Even bringing everything in this way is like a more soft and demure way of expressing yourself. Now we're gonna go into some sitting poses so I can show you how I would use a chair and how I would sit and take that from normal to pro. So now we're gonna talk about sitting and I have seen plenty of examples of photographers literally just taking pictures of people like this, literally like this. So this is absolutely the most boring pose that you could possibly do. There is so much fun stuff to do with sitting. So I'm gonna show you the first thing. The first thing is, this is a straight board. If it were me and I were doing something that was straight into the camera, then I would bring the feet out, lean it in, bring my hand up into my chin. And again, this is straight. I would then bring it to the right or bring it to the left. But it depends on the person's body type. That's another thing you have to keep into consideration. If the person is curvier or plus size or full figured, then I would just turn the chair, bring your hip to the edge of the chair, just like this. Extend the legs out because what you wanna do is have a length so people don't look squatty. You want length in the photo. So you're gonna extend the legs out. You're gonna bring the top leg forward in the photograph so you get more curve. Bring that arm out just like this. And now you have all this curviness. Now, I would never block the hips by putting my arm out like this. I'd bring my elbow back so that you could see the hip Bring the elbow back and then you can keep the arm here or you can bring it here or here or here. Play with the hair, turn the head, bring the hands up. From this point, you can do so much. But again, this lengthens and thins out and makes the body curvier. And in the other position, the boring pose, you just look like a little square squatty box. Another fun thing to do with chairs is use them as props. Like you can lean it in, this is boring, and this is dynamic. Or dynamic, boring, dynamic. Right? So you can use a chair as a prop or a table as a prop or anything as a prop. So again, it's about using every joint in your body from your toes by pointing to your ankle by twisting your knee, bringing it in or bringing it out, shifting your hips from side to side, depending on what you wanna say with the body, bringing your torso forward or backwards, depending on what you wanna say or what you're trying to exude. Shifting the shoulders up and down, bringing your neck side to side, using your neck to go side to side or swiveling or chin up or down. And then what is the face saying? Are you happy and laughing? Are you soft and demure? Are you sexy? Are you powerful? What is it that you're trying to say? Every joint in your body can help you bring that message forward on what it is that you want to exude and what you want to bring out from your clients. So now I'll use the sofa as an example. So here again, we have another sitting pose. You could be using a sofa or a chair or anything, but this is boring. What I think is really important is making people look comfortable so they're not stiff and robotic. 
You want people to look like they're comfortable and at ease. So how would somebody be on a sofa, right? They would bring it in, they would lean in. Again, bring that leg out, soft. Bring that hand into their face, not, but soft and relaxed. Tilt the head, bring the arms back, lay it back, lean in, play with the face, play with the body. There's so much that you can do with the body that exudes different emotions, right? Again, we have power poses or we have sexy poses or we have fun poses, right? There's so much that you say just by how you turn the body and what the shoulders do and what your neck does and what your face does is not just about the face and it's not just about the body. It's about using it all to say what it is that you wanna say. All right, guys, so I wanna talk a little bit about hands because people have a really hard time with hands. And I wanna give you a few little hints and tips on what to do with hands and how I think about hands because I think about every little bit of the body as I'm shooting. So the first thing that I think about is triangles, right? So triangle, triangle, right here, right here. Triangle, triangle, right here, right here. But it doesn't necessarily have to be all the time a triangle, right? Because you could be, again, exuding softness. Then I wanna turn and twist and have things opposing, hands that are opposing each other. So when I do couples photography, I'll have them do this and lean into each other, right? He could be behind or she could be behind and you can do something like this. You wanna think about what looks natural. Hand on hips can be different methods. You can go snatched hand on hips. You can do one up, one down. You can do uh, both on the hip, soft and relaxed. You can do hands in pockets, hands in pockets this way, hands on belt loop this way. You can do hands in the back of your pockets. So there's a lot of different ways to use your hands. Think about where you could put them. Now, another thing that I like to do is maybe hand on a hip and playing with my hair, looking one direction, looking at another, or hand behind the ear, like pulling the hair back behind the ear, again, shifting the body forward, chin up, looking down, looking down, looking away. Soft and demure, hands up on the chest, looking back, or eyes closed, hand around the belly, hand up on the face, looking back. Knitting is another one, just knitting like this. Hands on faces, so this way, this way. This is when you're really getting into fashion posing because every pose says something different about that moment, right? Like this is more fashion posing. And again, it's not just like this, it's leaning, chin up, tilting head. That's normal, this is pro, right? And again, the other direction like this. Um, I also like to bring the arm around this way and hand up this way. Again, this is a little bit more fashion posing, like this. Again, the chin down or chin up. Again, bringing the body forward, looking back, looking at the camera, looking down, eyes closed. You can also bring hands up on the hair. You can also bring hands up on the hair this way. You can also bring hand up on the hair this way. Again, that's a triangle and a triangle. This way, chin up, chin up, chin up. So think about what you can touch, your lips, your neck, your chest. Like if you're trying to do sexy photos, the neck is a great place to touch. And make the movement photos. Don't just touch your neck. Caress your neck. Lean your shoulder forward, look down, caress your face, touch your lips, breathe out of your mouth. So you can make everything a movement, a flow. Put on some sexy music, or if you're doing a CEO and you're like hands on hips, power pose, those are different movements. How they're gonna look in their face, and you know, maybe a semi squint or eyes wide open or you know, it's not gonna be maybe laughing, maybe they'll be more serious. Remember to turn the body. This is a big one also, guys. So forward, three quarters. So, and again, the other way. You can do half, three quarters, looking back. 
spinning. So have fun, don't get nervous, play around. And as you're shooting your client, encourage them. It doesn't mean they're gonna choose that photo and maybe it's not your favorite from behind the camera, but just keep saying, that's gorgeous, that's beautiful. Oh, I love it, that's, oh, I love that. This is so beautiful. And then occasionally when they're doing something you like that, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, stay there, do that a little bit more. As you see things that you like behind the camera, encourage your client to move in that direction. Thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you got something out of this. I hope it helped. I know I'm not super consistent yet about posing. I'm actually a very busy photographer. It's really difficult for me to carve out a little bit of time to do this, but I love helping people. I love reading all your comments and please let me know if there's anything that you guys wanna see. I've done a lot of like Photoshop style tutorials and some Lightroom stuff. And what I'm really good at is posing and interacting with clients. So I thought I'd get out here and start showing you guys how I move my clients and how I pose my clients in order to get more amazing, professional, dynamic images that really show off the beauty of your client and really exude and tell the story that you wanna tell. So thanks again, guys, for coming and joining me on this. Thank you for Maya behind the camera, my daughter who's helping me out today to do this. And guys, don't forget, choose happiness, choose passion, choose to live life at its utmost. And I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.